President Obama was not on the ballot, but as Nancy noted, millions of Americans voted against him anyway. According to our exit polls, 52 percent of voters say the president's policies will hurt the country in the long run. Let's get the president's reaction to the election and the strong showing from Republicans across the nation from CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant, who's at the White House this morning. Bill, good morning. Good morning to you, Maggie. Well, last night the president made the phone call. He called John Boehner, the man who will soon be Speaker of the House, <clears throat> excuse me, to say that he looks forward to working with him and with the Republicans. <clears throat> this afternoon, the president has a news conference. He will tell the nation that it's time to move on. But he's going to face some tough questions about how much he's to blame for the disaster that happened to the Democrats. The president says that he will look for places to cooperate on things like deficit reduction, education, and energy, but the outlook for cooperation is pretty dim. The Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says that his first priority is to ensure that President Obama remains a one-term president. And with Republicans in control of only one House, there's not likely to be new legislation, so the president will focus for the next couple of years on managing what he's passed and taking executive actions that don't require the cooperation of Congress. Maggie? Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Thank you, Bill.